Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Savannah and today we have another eyeshadow video. As always, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. And the eyeshadow palette in question is the ColourPop Gather Round Sisters palette from, well, themed from the movie Hocus Pocus. It retails for $22. And there it is. I know I've already done a video with this, but I wanted to do a more everyday kind of a look with it. Just to show you some more variety because it is a fairly intense palette. So, without further ado, I want to get right on into this and yeah. <sighs> I do upload two times a week, Tuesdays and Fridays, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, and occasionally on Fridays. Or not Friday as well. Saturdays. All right. So my lids are concealed and set with powder. So first off, I want to start off and put Hello Salem. This beautiful color. All up in my crease. Dude. I have done more, you know, everyday looks with it. But I realized... I should probably show you that it is possible. Oh, it's such a pigmented color. I did really like the green look I came up with in my initial testing this palette video. I, I'm like, I don't like green, but I'm obsessed with this look. Also, I actually have my nails done for like once. I use oh, Manchester Mauve from Color Street because after this video, I'm gonna take everything off makeup wise and film another one with the ColourPop Making Moss palette. All right, so just continuing to add up more Hello Salem into my crease. pretty color. So, V and crease. V and crease. <sighs> no, harsh lines. No, harsh lines. I am tired. I woke up early. Stinking time change it now. Okay, I'm gonna grab a more precise fluffy brush if I can find one. There we go. Alright, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab a little bit of Night of Frolic. I know, that's not such an everyday color, but just grabbing a very tiny bit. And then just go crazy blending that in. Occasionally grabbing more Hello Salem if you need to. Blend, blend, blend. Blendy, 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 blend. I actually went to lunch and shopping with my grandma for her birthday last week. Well, two weeks ago now. Was that two weeks ago? Oh my gosh. And I went and had a blast using this palette getting ready in the morning. I was almost late because I was just sitting there playing. Some more Hello Salem. I have my color switch here. Just gonna use that to get some extra pigment off of my brush here. That one got a little darker than I intended. Just take a little off with me. 
finger because why not? Make that blending just a little easier. I'm going to grab a tiny bit of full moon here. I, I generally do not put shimmers in my crease or sequin shades, but I'm going to just use that to help blend a little bit. That does that trick and it will just help everything be a little more cohesive further on. Alright, grabbing a very thin little angled brush here. I'm going to grab that Night of Frolic purpley shade again. Just do like one little stamp on my lower lash line here. Do do. Make sure that's even. Alright. And then blend. Grab a little bit of Hello Salem again. Using those to just blend each other out. You can always skip that purple shade and just stick with Hello Salem because it is very pretty. It makes it even more of an everyday look. Right. I'm going to grab a clean fluffy brush here. Just blend everything together. Make sure everything is 100%. Blended, cohesive, perfect. It does look intense, but just trust the process. Things will always look more put together and make more sense once you have a mascara on. Like, look at how much extra pink has come off my brush here. So. All right, so I'm gonna grab my ring finger. I'm gonna grab the full moon shade again. And it's a very pretty sequiny color. Put that on my lid. Talk about easy. Just little bits of specks of glitter in there. Oh, I love it. Add as much or as little as you prefer with that. I like it to go pretty far out on my lid. That light shade really brightens things up. Then grabbing a fluffy brush from before, just blending those edges all together. And that softens things up just a little more. Never rush blending. I've been talking to my boyfriend's daughters. I'm like, do not rush it. And I was explaining how putting eyeshadow in the crease and all that with them yesterday. And they're like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, you don't care, do you? No, no, they didn't. I tried. They didn't care. All right. So curl my eyelashes. I'm going to do this part off camera. Curling lashes and putting on mascara. I've got my Wander Beauty mascara too. And I'm going to put my lip product on and I will be right back. Alright, so I am back with mascara and lip stuff on. I use my MAC lipstick in Spirit. That beautiful color. And then I topped it off with a gloss. This is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in... 62 Charmer. 
I feel like they play really well together. I do not think that this look needs any eyeliner because that will just make it more dramatic and, you know, a little less wearable every day. And for mascara, I do like to focus it on the outer portion because it leaves my eyes a bit more open and awake. So this palette is definitely usable for an everyday look. You can always just use more of the darker colors and deepen up any sort of look. Or you could add a shimmer, the shimmery gray here in Wench. That would be very beautiful as well instead of the sequin shade I used but that would make it, you know, a little less everyday and more intense again. I do really like this palette. I've been using it a few times. I've also been playing with this beautiful one here. I'll give you a little peek at that, baby. So, <laughs> if you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to like, Leave me some nice comments, hit subscribe, ring that bell to see more of my goofy face, and I hope to see you all in my next video. I love you all. Bye.